Hi there, I'd like to share with you guys my Project Life kit for the month of February 2016 and talk a little bit about how I am setting myself up for keeping on top of, scrap of Project Life for this month. And um, for any of you who didn't catch my couple of other videos on Project Life for 2016, I am going to be doing Project Life on a regular basis in 2016. I'm going to be doing it weekly. I'm going to have one single-sided spread per week in 2016, unless if there's a particularly eventful week, I might do a full double-sided spread. Uh, but most of my layouts are going to be single-sided spreads. So one of the things that I want to do to make it easier for myself is I want to be able to take Project Life with me to different places in the house because I already scrapbook 12 by 12 layouts fairly regularly and so I'm down here in my scrapbooking room on sometimes on Thursdays, sometimes on Mondays, sometimes on both of those days and uh, I have other projects that I want to get done in that time that aren't Project Life. So my project life is going to have to fit into the other parts of my life. So that means evenings um, and sometimes during the days on the weekends, I will have to be doing project life. So I want to be able to bring it upstairs so that I can be around my family and, you know, be cooking and checking on things and coming back and forth and that sort of thing. So. I have this wire basket, which is a basket that I bought at Michael's. They had a sale, buy one, get one free sale uh, on organizing supplies a couple weeks ago. So I took advantage of that and I bought two of these. I have one elsewhere in my scrapbooking room and then I have this one. So um, I'm going to show you how I have it loaded up with stuff and uh, how I plan to use it. So basically I'm going to keep this in my scrap room on top of one of my recollections cubes and then when it's time to scrapbook I, to, or to do project life scrapbooking I'm just going to grab it and bring it upstairs just everything will be in this case. So all that I'll need to add to it are photos which I print on my own downstairs in the like right here in my scrapbooking room and then I'll have to add my tools. So I'll just grab my tool caddy which is where I keep all of my tools and I will put my tiny attacher, my scissors, my fussy cutting scissors, I'll grab my, I probably won't bring my ATG, I'll probably bring my little uh, Tombow Mono permanent adhesive and I will grab my, these two glues, my Tombow Mono liquid glue and my Zig Two Way glue pen and I will grab, what else do I probably need from here? That might be it. And then I will also grab my three different widths of pens plus my .005 plus my Sharpie. If I could find my Sharpie. Here's my Sharpie. So I'll grab my pens and I'll put those in here actually because when I put my glue in there I can never reach it so I'm going to put my pens right there and that's it so this tool caddy here is all filled up I keep my project life cards in there so for February I'm going to be using the jade kit from Becky Higgins that is a core kit that I bought quite a while ago and I still have plenty of it left this is all of the cards that I have um, I have given some away and I've used some of it uh, but this is all of the jade kits kit cards that I have so I have it and I have these little dividers to divide up the titles and then the journaling cards of the four by sixes so the four by sixes fit very nicely in this tool caddy I also stuck in a couple of grid cards back there and then I have my 3x4 jade cards that go to here. And then I have some 3x4 cardstock cards that I bought from Becky Higgins as well. So I have everything that I need in this as far as cards and tools go. Then I have this, uh, this is also a Becky Higgins box. It's what the core kits used to come in back in the day. This is what I bought my cobalt collection in and I don't have any cobalt collection left anymore. But this will come with me and my plan is to take all of this stuff out of the basket once I get down or upstairs and start working. So in this I have the stickers that I've pulled out to use this month so I'm going to show you what stickers I'm hoping to get used up. I probably won't kill this kit but this is just uh, 
an assortment of stickers that I plan to draw from for the month of February, and then we'll see how it goes, and I might uh, carry some of these forward into March if I haven't used them all up. So I have these Dear Lizzie Thicker stickers, uh, two different packages of them. So I have those. And then I have an assortment of stickers from my collection of stickers, just these 6x12 sticker sheets. Some of them are almost gone, so my plan is for these sticker sheets that are almost gone, I'm going to prioritize using these so that I can get rid of them, uh, get rid of the whole sheet by the end of the month. I did pull out a border, a set of border stickers because I haven't used those in a while and they are nice to use in Project Life just to kind of put little trim on your um, on your cards and stuff on the tops and bottoms. And of course if I run out or if I need more trim or, or um, borders I can always run downstairs and get them. I'm just I'm trying to think enough ahead that I have most of what I need at my fingertips. And so I have these have some Heidi Swap. This is Acorn Avenue by Crate Paper. This is Farmhouse Collection, also I think by Crate Paper. These are Ocean Blue label stickers by October Afternoon, and these are uh, Gossamer Blue circle label stickers. So I have an assortment of stickers. These ones are a different color scheme than the rest of them. The rest of them are all very autumn -y. Uh, wintery colors, very warm, autumny type of colors. These are very cool and summery, but uh, I thought I'd stick them in there in case I need something a little different from all these warms. So I have all those stickers, which I will place back in the box. And then I have a bunch of these Chit Chat Word stickers from Tim Holtz. Just hoping to dip into them. I haven't used them as much as I was hoping I would have by now. So then for letter stickers, you guys know I love these Sassafras letter stickers. So I'm I'm including my entire collection of Sassafras letter stickers because I love them so much and there's so many different colors and you can mix and match and they're awesome for titles. I also have an assortment of these Daily Flash letter stickers that have this scripty type of letter and then it also has a more uh, like a tile sticker and I'm missing one of them but that's okay. So I have those and I have those and then I've also selected an assortment of these snap letter stickers. I like these because they're a nice block font and they come in different colors so you can easily substitute one if you're you know if you don't have the right letter in that color you can always mix and match them. And for one of them, I've actually misted it with Silver Mr. Huey's ink so that these used to be just a flat gray and now they're a sparkly gray, which is kind of nice. And then these are letter stickers that I used in January, so I thought I might want to use them again in February. So I'm carrying those forward. So the idea is not that I would use up all those letter stickers, of course, but that these are the letter stickers I'll draw from for my February pages. And then I have my arrows here. Um, and these are just arrow stickers and chipboard pieces and stuff that are arrows. I tend to use arrows a lot in my project life because if I ever have uh, two cards that go together, like I'll often put a picture on one card and then the journaling on the other, I want to put arrows that show that these two go together. And then just for um, variety, just in case I need these, and to fill the space, because I had space in this, I just I just pulled blue and pink, or I guess turquoise and pink, as uh, my cases of die cuts that I will draw from. And then I have just an assortment of old-ish stickers that are sm smaller than, than these ones. So I have these Amy Tangerine ones that I really need to use up. These are quite old. And then I have these ones that have nice fall winter colors in them. These ones have to do with reading and I uh, am on, I'm trying to read my New Year's resolution is to read more so I'm going to keep those handy every month. And uh, some Avalicious puffy stickers, just a whole bunch of puffy stickers from different companies right here as well. I'm hoping to draw from those as well. So uh, those are what is in this box and then that's what's in my little tool caddy. 
And then the last thing that I'm using to store my project life in is uh, this bag in bag. And I did a video about this bag in bag. It must have been three, maybe even four years ago. And in it, I review this bag and all of its features. It has lots of hidden pockets and and uh, outward pockets and it's very, very good. So I will link the video that reviews this and tells you where to buy it in the information section for this video, but I'll show you what's inside of it. So I have a little makeup bag here that's filled with washi tape that I think I might need or want to use this time. Then I have a little case here that has all kinds of small dimensional embellishments. So I'll try to show you what's in it. I just dumped them all into this case. There are clips. I'll dump it all out so that you can see what I'm working with. I have an assortment of clips and wood veneers that are older because I'm trying to use up some older stuff. And then I have, because February has Valentine's Day, I have a little container here of Valentine, like heart wood veneers. And then I have a family of wood veneer. I have two adults, a male and a female, and then three female girls to represent my family. And then I have a whole bunch of label stickers to choose from. Martha Stewart labels. These are all Martha Stewart labels. And then these are mostly my mind's eye, but also some Jilly Bean are in here too. And then this set of Studio Calico label stickers that I've are well used, but there's still plenty left. These are just two things that I hope to get used up. I tried to use this up in January, but it's scraggling around, so I'll try to use these two. And then these are some washi stickers that Stephanie Hart gave me. I think they came in a Studio Calico kit. So they're just kind of floating around my scrap room and they're difficult to store, so I'd like to get them used up. They're not quite the color scheme that I'm looking to use this month, so I don't know if I'll get them used or not. Then on this side, I have some Valentine's brads from the Kiss Kiss collection from Crepe Paper and then I also have so these are stick-on brads um, by Simple Stories from the So Fancy collection and then I also have some enamel dots in a variety of colors that I thought would work with this month I didn't think too hard about it if I need a different color I can always run downstairs and get it it's not like I'm going out of the house or anything and then I just have an assortment of small-ish doilies. I have craft, I have yellow, I have white and gold in, you know, small sizes. And I think that's it. Yes, that is it. So I don't plan to do any stamping when I'm upstairs. Stamping just takes too much time and space and supplies and stuff and it's messy and I've got cats and I don't want to walk away and leave an ink pad open. So I've just decided that I won't do stamping on my project life at times when I'm scrapbooking upstairs. So I'm going to place all of these things back in the basket and I'm going to take out my tools because I don't want to be looking for them next time I scrapbook, so I'll put these tools back in my tool caddy. Project life setup will look like for this month, and I will let you know when I do my month recap uh, how it went, whether it met my needs, whether there were things that I kept looking for and didn't have, or maybe there are things that I, that I took but I didn't need to bring, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching, have a great scrappy week, and if you have any tips or ideas for me or that you wanna share with other people uh, who watch this video, feel free to leave a comment below so we can get some discussion going about how you keep on top of project life and, and what you pack if you were going to bring a little uh, caddy of supplies with you at different places in the house, or maybe if you were gonna go out to somebody's house to do project life with somebody, uh, what would you bring, what would you consider to be your essential tools. So this is what I'm going to consider my kit for the month of February, my Project Life kit. So take care and have a really great scrappy week.